Folks, my name is um, Denisha Henry, and I flew in from D.C. I actually live in Atlanta, Georgia, and I came to Ghana for the Back to Africa Festival. I'm really excited to be here and it, get the full experience and feel the land and the people and be welcome back home. It's always been a dream of mine to come back home, especially to West Africa, because we are West African drummers. It's the year of the return. That's the real reason why we're here. My name is Kittis James. Assalamualaikum. I am from Washington, D.C. I'm a native Washingtonian. Uh, what brought me here initially was I wanted to come to Ghana for, not so much Ghana, but I wanted to come back to Africa for my milestone. I'm about to turn 50. And when I heard about the Back to Africa, because you know, I was doing research that this was the celebration, the whole year of Back to Africa, and then specifically Ghana, I started you know, reaching out, talking to my friends, because I said, for me to come back, to Africa at this time at a milestone in my life um, is very significant and while I'm here um, inshallah God willing I will also learn what region and what tribe um, my my lineage is from on my mother's side because I'm doing the African ancestry which will pinpoint that and it will be revealed here I've been to Canada stepped off the uh, got out the car fresh breath clean fresh air this is cleaner this is fresher because not only that I get it through the air I get it in the spirit and that's where it is so when I go back to the States I'm going to give the breath of Africa back to the people of America where it should be and to tell you the absolute truth I haven't even had the chance to um, really salute and honor the country that I'm from. So if you give me a chance, I would like to kneel down and kiss the ground of my motherland. I would never, ever forget this experience. Thank you all for letting me be here, connecting with you, my family. Bless. Sixteen nineteen is what we're taught and what we know as the first documented enslaved Africans arriving in the U.S. So we're commemorating our resilience. This is about the commemoration of resilience, the fact that we are here, the fact that we made it, the fact that we're able to walk back through the door of no return means something. It's a powerful thing. And we want to be able to share that with our people back home and our people in Ghana together. It's important. my first time in Ghana and I have to say from the moment I got to the airport I was just amazed at how beautiful the airport was and then the peace this place is very very peaceful very peaceful it's my first time coming back to motherland almost 70 but I'm glad that I made it it's been a wonderful experience so far people have been nothing but friendly the food is great and I look forward to these next two weeks touring the country and just learning I got off and I already felt like, oh, I've been here before, but I've never been to Africa. So it just felt like I'm coming back home to where I'm supposed to be. I don't want to leave again. <laughs> just, just an overwhelming feeling that is really hard to describe because I never really had this opportunity before. This is my first time to Africa, period. So I'm just overjoyed in everything.
Celebrating the 400th commemoration of the first recorded arrival of enslaved Africans has many meanings to me personally. One meaning is a reminder that we're never going to know who those people were. We're never going to know their names. We're never going to know who their descendants are that are walking around today. It's a reminder of that disconnection that devastated Africa and its people. It's also a reminder of the 400 years of achievements and accomplishments of black people that have made America what it is. And that's a very, very empowering uh, reminder. We built America. We made America what it is. And we are, I think that it's significant that the United States government at least is acknowledging the need to um, commemorate the achievements and contributions of people of the African diaspora. We found your ancestry in the most populous country in Africa. You share ancestry with the Yoruba people living in Nigeria today. And also the Fulani I've come to Ghana because I decided to, some years ago, I was pulled, I will say my spirit pulled me to practice uh, a particular tradition of Ghana among the Akan people. And so I've been coming back and forth since 1993. Um, at this time I'm here because I'm supporting the Back to Africa movement, the Back to Africa festival. It is time for those of us in the diaspora to return, to connect uh, with our family here on the continent, whether it's in Ghana or some other country. It's time for us to connect with each other um, and take our rightful place on the world scene, whether it's a political scene, economic scene, whatever the scene, educational scene, we need to support each other and to rise up as a people. Uh, I didn't know what to expect when I came here. I didn't know how it was going to feel. I knew it was going to be real. I knew it was going to feel very real and be very serious. Um, but I could feel when, am I, when I took my shoes off and connected my feet to the ground that my ancestors stood on and put my hands on the walls, it's, I could feel the energy of them. And um, it, felt, it felt good in, inside, but it also it, it, it hurt really bad because I know the pain and I know the suffering and, and you hear about it and read about it, but it's not the same until you come here and actually experience where our ancestors actually stood and suffered. And it's because of them that we're able to be here today and do the things that we're doing now. And so that full circle is just, it was very deep for me and very moving um, and definitely brought me to tears at some points. is Wes Felton. Uh, I'm from the United States of America and I am here for the Back to Africa tour as a, not just a participant, but more specifically as one of the featured performing artists. Um, I am one half of the group called The Crossroads. Uh, the other half is my brother and Raheem Devon. I'm here to share my art um, and share my music of movement and music of liberty and justice and freedom of all black people on the planet uh, with the people here of Ghana. If you see the streets again, don't you die?
taking home a lot of knowledge and I've been sharing with my family on during like social media Facebook and Instagram and I've just just sharing my pictures and what I've been doing I've inspired my sisters like she's ready to come you know my family they're all talking about they're ready to come because you know a lot of us are fearful of Africa and I showed them it's nothing to be fearful of it's we're here because uh, this is back to Africa. We're here to build the um, bridges. We have a world that's talking about walls and where we're here to build bridges. And if uh, our two cultures, um, uh, Ga West African culture, Guyanian culture specifically, were to learn about um, the black culture in America and, and, and throughout the African diaspora, and the people throughout the African diaspora were to learn about West African and Guyanian culture, we'll be one people. And so we feel that um, all of the African countries of which we come from should welcome us all back and should bring all of the children back from the Afri all over the African diaspora to come back to start uh, building those bridges. And then the countries that they come from should take care of their resources to get them there. And so uh, I hope that this Back to Africa movement uh, continues and grows and expands. And I want to thank uh, uh, everyone that's a part of this and also uh, uh, Ghana's government for allowing and encouraging this to happen because we need more of it. And uh, I think that uh, Africa is the most important continent on the planet. And I don't think that it should be left up to uh, people of other races to build the infrastructure that needs to be done in Africa. We have to do this ourselves. But it would take everyone in the African diaspora to do that. So back to Africa. Thank you for my future wife and myself. And I look forward to coming back. I think we were always searching, one, for some connection with the motherland and this was an opportunity to do it. Uh, our sons are drummers and it was an opportunity for them to be able to perform here which I thought was very important. Uh, they both made their own drums and just for us as a family to be able to share not just the crafts in the U.S., you know, doing it there, but to actually come to where it comes from and for them to be able to feel that and understand that this was a perfect time during Ghana's independence, um, during the year of return. Um, it's just really been important for us as a family to um, get our ancestry um, DNA read, to know what our specific connections were, mine to Cameroon and Angola, my husband's to Burkina, Burkina Faso. Faso. So um, this is just, it, it's been a paradigm shift for us all. Well, and in addition to that, as I forget which one, Marcus Garvey, W.E.D. Du Bois, the first president of Ghana. Education is not just about the classroom. This oh. is an education for our children to see the world outside the neighborhood that they live in, in the neighborhood that they go to school, and the jobs that their parents do. Right. So we're wanting to broaden their horizons to make sure, as I've been saying since I got here and got our ancestry read, we're undefeated. And we'll stay that way. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.